How many of you have the perfect marriage? When I do these for men and women, you know, they're all raising their hands, you know. Here we can be at it. How many of you thought you had the perfect marriage before you got divorced? Okay. About the second divorce, okay? Uh, there, uh, we can go to a couple more slides. The reason this is very, very, very important, when you think of a trust, just don't think of it as protecting you after you die. A trust protects you while you're alive. Um, when you have separate property, especially many of you uh, made your own money, and you never know if you're going to get divorced down the line. Um, I happen to have gotten married just a few years ago. I actually happen to have married a man that I had been divorced from for 15 years. So I remarried my, my first husband. And yes, we were in the couples counseling before. And um, <laughs> you know, depending on where you're at the stage in your marriage or a divorce, I get women going, oh, how could you have done that? To, oh, isn't that sweet? You know, right? So depending on how you're feeling about your ex. Right, Barbara? No. OK. And um, so um, he said to me, I'm sh he said to the couples counselor, I'm sure Camille will want a prenup before getting married. Uh, he's a great guy. He's an architect. I happen to have done better financially th than he. And so with any other guy, if I was going to marry, I would definitely have gotten a prenup. But I said, no, honey, no. But what he didn't know, what I knew, is I had every single thing I owned in the name of my trust. So I owned nothing. So God forbid, if we ever got divorced again, that proves before I got married, everything was separate property. And that can't be touched. Now, after you get married and you're making money in California, it's community property. So you have to be very careful. Uh, like when I buy or sell things and I, I take it out of one of my trust accounts and I put it back in my trust account, you have to learn about not commingling. You should talk to your CPAs about that, your investment advisors, and your state plan attorneys about all that. But it also protects, if you do get divorced, it protects from ex-spouses, it protects from uh, children, you know, blended families. It's very, very important these days that you protect what you have. And that's why trust is very important for the now, okay, and for the future. And it can protect down the road for many, many, many years. Uh, how many, are you sure that none of your children will ever marry the wrong person, <laughs> will ever get divorced, or will ever overspend the money they have? And that is why you have not made provisions to protect their inheritance in your trust. This question is in the Orange County Business Journal quiz on Monday. You just never know what's going to happen. So in your trust, while you're you know, alive, you, can, you should leave people's inheritance. How many of you know if you, in your trust, if you've left the inheritance to your family in trust? This is what this means. I go through so many people's trust documents, and they leave it so they get it at 25, 30, 35, but they're not left in trust. If you leave it to them in their name, people can come after it, and creditors can come after it. If you leave it into the you know, son number one's trust, they can use it. They can spend it all. That's true. But they, it's protected. Now, my husband happens to be a very nice guy. Uh, he's a good architect. Not too sharp on this stuff, So because he says he has me. And that's a problem. You know, a lot of women feel that way. They say, oh, my husband's been taking care of it. My husband has things about me. So I want to make sure that I protect him from himself. And I would love to think that if I passed away tomorrow, you know, drop dead on the tennis court, which is my idea of being taken out, that he would be totally depressed. But just in case he's dancing in the streets. <laughs> I have made sure that I have made provisions in the trust document to make sure that he doesn't overspend things and, and things like that. I've also made sure that no one can get at the money that I have left him. Because I, I want it protected. It's left in trust for him forever. Okay? If he chooses to spend it, you know how he wants, but forever. So that's really, really important. You really need to think about that with your family. As well as if your children do get divorced, it's left in trust. The ex-spouse can't get at it. The stepchildren can't get at it. It's very, very, very important. OK, um, how many of you have, um, let me see, do we have next night? If any of your children have or inherit their own money, it is protected to stay theirs if they get married or divorced. That's about putting it in the name of their trust. 